This lesson shows you how you can use several servlets to build one web page. This is useful if you have something that you would like to include in more than one page. You write one servlet that generates the HTML for that one thing, then you use that same servlet to put the HTML code in a number of pages. Then you can make a change in one place and have it affect a number of pages. Here is the servlet that creates the page and uses other servlets to insert things. This servlet uses the doGet method to produce a page the same as a regular servlet does. The page is started by having its context type set and having its first tags printed. Then a request dispatch object is created and it's used to dispatch a get command to the doHeader servlet. The dispatching is done with the include method this method starts the other servlet running by sending a get command to it and then waits until the servlet has finished running. Once it has finished, the method returns and this servlet continues to its next line. Notice the arguments to the include method. They are the request and response objects that were passed to this method. So the do header servlet will be using the same out object to write things as this one uses. So all output will go in order to the same place. This servlet then outputs the lines of HTML code for the middle of the page. Another dispatcher is created. This one is for the servlet named doFooter, and the include method is called again. It waits until the doFooter has finished and then returns, and it returns to finish the page. Here is the doHeader servlet. It's quite simple. It has a doGet method that uses the print writer object found inside the response object to do the output to the page. This is the same print writer object that was used by the originating servlet, so the page stays coherent. The three print line method calls put the HTML text in line. The doFooter servlet does the same thing. It outputs some HTML code. Notice that the header and footer don't output complete HTML pages. They only output fragments of code that appear inside the structure of the main page. Once the three servlets are deployed to the server, it's a matter of addressing the main servlet to see the output from all three. And here is the resulting page. You can write all sorts of servlets to input special things into your code, and you only have to change that one servlet to make changes to that part of the code as it appears in all pages where it's used. You can see how a large website with insertion pages that change from time to time could benefit from this sort of structure. It's very handy to be able to change something in one place and have it change in a number of places.